<laughs> Hello, how is everybody today? Welcome to another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. I want to say it's beautiful outside, but I think the weather is changing as we're uh, live right now. It was beautiful and sunny this morning, and I think it's going to get rainy this afternoon. So that's all right. We've got lots of fun stamping to do. Hey, Nikki, how are you doing out in Utah? Hopefully everything's good for you. Um, let's see, what do we have going on? I'm always like rubbing lotion in my hands so that my hands aren't all dry when I like <laughs> do my demonstrating later. So yeah, I'm going to stand here and rub the lotion in my hands. Well, Debbie Green, hello, good morning. How are you? Thank you for sharing the video. I appreciate that. So yeah, what's going on? We had, um, hey, you're in Michigan. Where are you, Debbie? I'm in Alma, so maybe we're not too far away from each other. I'm in Michigan too. Um, Let's see, what's going on? We had Recital last weekend. That was lots of fun. I figured out they did five different shows last weekend, all like a couple hours long. So <laughs> needless to say, the dancers were pretty darn exhausted by the end of the weekend. And then actually last Thursday or Friday was supposed to be the kids' last day of school. Vicksburg, remind me where, I know, I know I've heard that name, Debbie, but I can't think of where that's near. Tell, tell me what... Um, town it's kind of near if you would sorry I keep getting like off track already um yeah what the heck was I even saying oh yeah they're supposed to have their last day of school last week and then with all of our snow days and fog days and whatever we had over the winter they had to extend school um, till this past Thursday they had a half day on Thursday so it was just kind of a bummer because usually school is done and then we have the recital weekend south of Kalamazoo. Now I know. Now I know. Okay, you're kind of a ways from me. Yeah, a couple hours probably. Um, anyway, so that was kind of a bummer because, you know, by the time recital weekend is done, everyone's really exhausted. And then they had to come home and study and get ready for exams this week. So they made it though. Um, yeah, so... Now Lily's off babysitting. <laughs> Yesterday was the last morning she had to get up for school and then she had to get up this morning to go babysitting. So that's all right, uh, hard work, there's nothing wrong with that. So she's got lots of time to sleep in this summer, but it was just kind of ironic that her first babysitting job was the first day of after school was out and early. <laughs> so that's how that goes, right? Um, let's see, Father's Day is coming up this weekend too. Hopefully we'll, we'll all be able to celebrate the fathers in our lives on Sunday or over the weekend, right? And what else? Oh, my son Kate is playing basketball. Actually, it's kind of a bummer because he has three games in Grand Rapids area today and I'm not able to make any of them. Um, I kind of knew it was happening, but I didn't totally, I was kind of hoping it'd be Friday night so that I could scoot down there and see some. Um, but he's playing more tomorrow, so I'll be able to catch some basketball tomorrow. And so are you guys enjoying the new um, annual catalog? I have to tell you, I, I had uh, the Simple Beautiful Car class well, Wednesday night and then this afternoon right after Facebook Live is the second one. And I had so much fun putting my projects together this week. I don't know what it was. I guess, you know, getting new product, it just, it's so much fun to play with new stuff. So I was thinking, make sure, you know, if you haven't treated yourself lately, now is a great time to do that. Find some fun new stuff from the annual catalog and, and treat yourself. Get that order in and enjoy playing with fun new. It just is so reinvigorating, I think. Hey, Philomena, how are you doing? So, yeah, and I just, I'm, I'm excited. A couple of the cards that we're going to do on Facebook Live are cards that we're making at class. And I just... I, I love all of our new stuff as usual. And then of course, you know, you see all these other ideas online. And so I've got my wish list is a mile long, probably just like everybody else's. Good morning, Denise. How are you doing? Um, so yeah, like I said, treat yourself. Get yourself a little something new and enjoy the fun new products that we have in our annual catalog. Denise, uh, yes, Denise and Denise, good morning. And Anne, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, this is so great. We've got lots of new faces on here today. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on the live. Or, and I, I kind of, I'm always speaking to the people on the live, right? If you catch um, Facebook Live later, either on our Facebook group, our Facebook business page, or on YouTube, I love to hear from you no matter when you're watching. So don't feel like just because you're not a part of the live and I can't interact with you that I don't want to hear from you. I love seeing your comments, hearing who's watching, what you think of what's going on, and just add whatever, you know, if you've got some fun new product you've played with, let us know. And Nancy, oh my God. 
gosh, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you today? So yeah, I just, and it's happening already. Fun new faces are saying hello. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I just, I love, it makes it, for me, it makes it so rewarding really to, you know, all the preparation that you do to per to get ready for a Facebook Live, and then you kind of, you know, you know the people that are watching, that are watching on the live and are interacting with you, but I think there's this kind of whole other world of people that watch later and you don't know any of them, or, you know, I don't know any of any of you necessarily, if you don't, um, let me know that you're watching. So please, please say hello and let me know. Um, hopefully you enjoy the projects. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have suggestions of things you'd like to see me do or play with, let me know, because I can always get those things ordered and play with them too and we can share and enjoy together so I love hearing from you okay guys so I just can't say that enough because I think I forget sometimes um, like I said the people that watch later if you can't catch it live which is totally fine because this is a weird time of day really it just worked best for my schedule to be honest um, to be able to do it now because later in the day it gets so crazy for me so yeah um, <clears throat> Oh, okay, so, and uh, speaking of new products, I um, want to put a quick reminder out about the buy one, get one free sale that I'm going to do. So down at the stamp studio here in town in Alma, the live buy one, get one free is in a couple weeks. It's on Wednesday, June, it's the 26th from two to six, and then Friday the 28th from three until six. And this is the time where I get, basically, oh, throw everything in my craft room, and if it's not current, I put its full catalog price on everything, unless it's like designer series paper and part of it's used, then I figure out, you know, what's left and what the price of that should be. Um, but basically, all my retired product is in there. You can come down to the studio, shop from the retired product, and then you can get new catalog product for free. You still pay shipping and sales tax on the new catalog log stuff but it's still an awesome awesome deal I have make and takes that you can you know so you can play with some fun new product I have working on lots of displays so you guys can see more new product in action and I will tell you because I know a lot of people are not local this is you know it's not a big area right so maybe you don't live near me I think I'm gonna do a buy one get one free sale online now it's not gonna be until like later end of July August some kind of that time frame. I have to work out the details because I've never done one before, so I have to do some research and figure out how I actually do that. But I'm thinking that would be kind of fun to offer um, the buy one, get one free sale online too. That way people that are not local, you can take advantage of it too. So let me know if you have any interest in that because I'd love to kind of get an idea of how many people um, would like to participate in something like that. The idea would be I'll take pictures of everything that I have and post it probably on our Facebook group with the prices and kind of maybe the first person that like comments on something, then you're you know first in line to get that product. Um, and then you just put an order in. So say if you see a $20 stamp set and you say, I want that stamp set, you put a $20 order in, then you're gonna get that stamp set for free. You still will have to pay the shipping on the retired product though too. Um, I think I have to figure all that out. So I'll let you know more. That's not for like a month or two. I'll be doing something like that. So all right, I have to peek at my notes, um, make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, okay. So I have to show you guys, you know, I've been, um, thank you guys for all the sharing too. I love that. I, I love to reach new people. I think we are having tons of fun here. So I think it's awesome when you guys share because then that kind of shows other people, you know, invites and encourages them to come be a part of things too. And I love to share with new people too. Um, okay, so you guys, the in colors. I know I mentioned I'm doing an in color club. And so I want to clarify because I had some questions on this. On my blog, I can give all of the information about the In Color Club, about the Designer Series Paper Share, but it's like against a Stampin' Up! policy to actually have a link, like a PayPal link to order it right from your blog. So I know that gets a little confusing. So if you're on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and you see that information, just shoot me an email or send me a Facebook message. So my email is amy, A-M-Y dot Frilici, F-R-I-L-L-I-C-I at yahoo.com. Hey Angie, how are you? So if you send me a message either way, I will then forward you the link, the PayPal um, link, and then the link with all the information to order either the designer series paper share or be a part of the in color club. I will tell you if you see any of the posts right on our Facebook group, if you click on like the picture or the link, that will take you right to the PayPal, um, you know, the link with all the information. Um, 
thought there was, oh, and then if you're on my email list, that's another great way. And I can include links in all my email. So that's what I'll usually send you is that email that I've been sending out to everybody else. So if you're interested at all in the designer series paper share, which just to reiterate that you basically get a quarter of a pack of all of our designer series paper in the um, current, the new annual catalog. And I think that was, let me make sure. Yeah, it's $50 for the designer series paper share. And I'm gonna show you some more fun new designer series paper. I have been, I'm determined this year because usually I kind of hoard that paper like we all do, right? This year I'm not doing it. I am playing with it all. I'm using big, bold pieces on my cards so you guys can see um, all, all of the fun, all of the detail on the paper. And Denise, I'm glad you're excited for the In Color Club. I know, me too, me too. It's so fun to get all that fun new stuff. Um, yeah, so Designer Series Paper Share in Color Club. I don't know, I get so distracted. So I have to show you guys, because I loved, so I've been getting swaps. I've participated in a couple different swaps, so I'm gonna kinda drip them out over the next few weeks, because I, I don't wanna show you guys all of them all at once, because that's kinda overwhelming. So I'm gonna show you a few every single um, Friday on Facebook Live. So this is a card that I received from Kelly O'Donnell. And can you guys see, because I love, this is a great way to feature all of our new in colors. So if you can see, yep, that is, yep, okay. So that little strip and that little strip, that's the Purple Posy, Terracotta Tile, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, and Pretty Peacock. I did a pretty good job there. I'm getting better. I'm like, these names are becoming a little bit more you know, rolling off the tip of my tongue. So anyway, and then she embossed, I think that embossing folder might not be available any longer, that hexagon, even though I love it. But then she did a great job here too. This is a new punch. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a new punch that we have. And then she embossed with the white embossing powder. I love that. So the sentiment says, sending all, sending all wishes, or sending all happy wishes your way. I don't know why, I can't read. Um, but it, yeah, because it's backwards too, so maybe you can't read that. But I love, like I, I just can't stop saying, I, I love featuring all of those colors. I think that's a great way to say, hey, check out all of our new ink colors. So this I grabbed from the studio because it's part of my ink color um, club display down at the stamp studio. And then here's another one. And this is a bunch of different patterns of the woven threads designer series paper that have all of our in colors in it. And then she did a fun, um, that's that beautiful you, I think, the gal from beautiful you maybe. And then it says happy birthday, gorgeous. So I love that one too. She did such a nice job of, and again, it's the same idea. Oh, and you know what? I don't have, there's no information. Usually we put information in the back so I know who it's from. It might be on the inside. Um, but we'll check that out later. But I, I love, they both did the same design now that, backwards kind of right but i love that diagonal <laughs> like have to they probably i was like how do they cut that but they it's probably just one inch strips and i think they put them all on so this one's a little bit easier to see they probably put all the one inch strips right on that white piece and then cut it right off all the way around that's what i'm thinking they do because it looks so darn cool although she embossed it too there's probably another layer underneath there that she stuck them all onto and then embossed everything. But look at, I don't know, can you guys see? This is such pretty kind of soft textured looking paper too. I'm excited. I have not, this is one that I haven't played with yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. So if you guys love the colors that are on these cards, you're gonna love our new in colors and you might as well get into the in color club because every month you get everything, say in, terracotta tile color, right? You get the cardstock, the ink pad, the refill, the scalloped ribbon, the, the marker, the stamp and write marker, the two stamp and blends, and you get the designer series paper, um, the pattern paper. Plus you also get one month you're the host, you get $20 in free stuff. And that same month that you're the host, you get the in color embellishments, which I don't have those here, but they're little faceted dots in all of our in color colors. 
It's $49 per month, another $8 to have it shipped to you. If you pick the studio pickup, you just pick it up there and that $8 fee is waived. So, but again, if you want links for any of these things, if you're not on my email list, cause I've been trying to email regularly about this, check out Facebook or send me a message or email me and I will send you the links so you can get signed up, okay? Um, cause those are, our SVP deadline for the designer series paper is Saturday, yeah, Saturday, June 29. And if I get people sooner, I'm gonna order, If I, I have to have four people to do the designer series paper. So for every four, I'm putting an order in. So if I have four people, I put an order in, next four people in order, um, so that I can get it back out to you as quickly as possible. And then in Color Club, honestly, I usually let run for a couple of months because I kind of have people jumping in even into July or so. So as soon as you decide you wanna do it, we'll get you signed up and we'll get you going. Um, and then one last thing, just to remind you guys about that super summer giveaway. And Nikki, thank you so much. You were my first posting of the hashtag with that hashtag super summer spectacular, or sorry, excuse me, super summer giveaway. I used to call it spectacular. Super summer giveaway. If you use that hashtag and post a project, either using the same stamp set that I use on the cards that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit, or if you use the same layout, maybe you don't have that stamp set, but if you use the same um, kind of card layout that I do, um, post it on our Facebook group or our business page using that hashtag, the super summer uh, giveaway, and your name's gonna go on the drawing. We're doing the giveaway, super summer giveaway is you get lots of entries in there all summer long, and we're gonna draw at the beginning of September for some awesome new holiday catalog product at that point. So that will be very cool. I'm not ready to think about holidays yet. It's way too soon for me. Usually even, cause actually in a couple weeks when we go on the incentive trip, we're gonna get the holiday catalog and I'm usually like, oh, I mean, I'll look through it and I'll enjoy it, but I can't, I'm not, I'm not on board yet. <laughs> it takes me a little while. I'm like, summer's just here. I wanna enjoy all the fun summer stuff and not think so much about holiday, but that's me, that's probably my problem. Um, you know, that's how it goes. So, okay, let's do our drawing. We are gonna give away, remember last week, um, I showed you guys this terracotta tile ribbon, so that's that scalloped linen ribbon. So, you know the huge, right? You get one entry if you comment on Facebook Live now or if you watch later. You get three entries if you share the Facebook Live video. Just make sure you put a comment when you share the Facebook Live video. Um, if you're new to me and you sign up for email, you get three entries in the drawing. And then um, my random draw day was Friday. So last Friday, any post that I made or if you posted a project yourself on Friday, three more entries in here. So lots and lots of entries in here. And let's see who the winner is. Shaking them all around. Okay, I've got one in my hand, and it is, oh, Miss Jamie Sanders. I don't think you've won before. It's always fun for me when you can't even see that, but that's what, there it is. Jamie, Miss Jamie Sanders is the winner. So Jamie, I will get your terracotta tile ribbon sent out to you, and thank you for your comments and participation. I, I love that. It, it's again so fun because you do all this work and stuff, you know, I mean, you're like, uh, for me anyway, you know, I'm on Facebook posting all these fun projects and things and it's just so fun to hear back from everybody about what you guys think. So, and I love the questions and the interaction too. Um, I, yeah, I, I love that. So thank you guys for participating. I appreciate it so much. Um, so this week I have more fun ribbon. I have, cause you guys, uh, I could get three bolts of every single color of this ribbon and I've used quite a bit, but like I don't have, I'm working on getting more new stuff. I'm kind of just slowly getting some new things, but I have all of this awesome ribbon and I know you guys are loving seeing all of the in color stuff. So this is the Pretty Peacock scalloped linen ribbon. So this is what we're gonna give away. So next Friday, we'll do our drawing again, all those entries that you can get um, into the drawing for the scalloped linen ribbon. So comment and share, sign up for email, post projects, have lots of fun, and maybe you'll win next week, okay? Um, what else do I want to show you guys? Oh, okay, so just a quick reminder, the above the clouds, I think that's the name of the stamp set, the Above the Clouds class to go that features you would get, you would make two of each of these cute cards. Sorry, whoa, that layer is crazy. There's that one, 
And then can you guys see, isn't that awful? There, maybe if I move it over there. So yeah, you, you are gonna make two of each of these cards in that class to go. So let me know, signups are happening through um, next Friday. So you've got one more week to sign up. Again, send me a message, either email or um, Facebook message if you want the link. The link I have on Facebook groups and um, on email also. Yeah, and it's on my blog too, but just not the link to actually order. Um, but you can see all the information there too. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Super duper cute. I love that stamp set. It was so fun to play with. Um, and actually here, this one features that um, the ribbon, the, the scalloped linen ribbon. You guys can see it a little bit on there, even though it's the seaside spray. On the seaside spray cardstock, it's a little bit harder to see. I've got another something I can show you guys to... Um, show you the ribbon a little bit more. I'm going to show you that in just a couple minutes. Um, and don't forget, guys, if you have fallen in love with lots of the annual catalog product, your best deal always is to get the starter kit. So if you're not familiar with the starter kit, Stampin' Up! starter kit, basically, um, I know, I love the ribbon too, Nikki. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want all the ribbon, all of the in-color stuff, you could buy the starter kit, you pick $125 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax, that 10% shipping fee is waived, which is awesome. Um, then you actually get 20% off of all of your orders after that. So you can pick your first $125 in stuff in your starter kit, and then like two minutes later when you get your demo ID and password, you can log on to the Stampin' Up! website and put another order in and get your 20% off. So let me know if you have any questions. The link for that is always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, but if you want more information about becoming an inspired stamper let me know because we have an awesome group of ladies that stamp and have lots of fun hey rosemary how are you we do um group uh team meetings the third tuesday of every month and if you can't make it live to the meeting we do a, a facebook live actually um at that meeting as well so we can kind of make sure everybody is included whether you're local or you're long distance okay um, all right, I think we are ready to do our other drawing. I only had, okay, so I had two online orders. <laughs> That's so cute. The My shirt looks like the new purple tri-colored ribbon. Yes, which I have, I got that and I haven't even had a chance to open it yet, but you're right, it is, maybe it, it does look, it's actually kind of a royal blue and a pink, um, like a little diamond inside the royal blue ovals I guess I'd say but it probably does kind of overall look purple doesn't it <laughs> that's cute Denise <laughs> so okay so back to what I was saying um oh actually here let's talk about what we're going to give away so more in color stuff this is the the new 2019-21 the in color designer series paper so I've opened that up a few times you guys have seen it but I'll show you one more time because I sure love this paper so you are, if you put your online order in last week, your name goes in the drawing. You just had to spend at least $30. So awesome deal, right? Just spend 30 bucks and you can get this pack of designer series paper. You get the projects that I demonstrated last week. And if you bumped your order up to over $50, you get a free embellishment too. Okay. So I actually only had two online orders last week. So do you guys get that the odds there are only two names in here, so one of these two people is going to win this paper along with all the other goodies that I give away, right, for online orders. So um, you, your chances are really good. I know I say that, and that sounds kind of funny, but put your online orders in, treat yourself to that new stuff, and you can get even more new stuff for free plus the projects that I demonstrate. So, okay, here we go. I'm tossing around all two names that are in here. And let's see, the winner is, got one in my hand, Miss Tammy Mitchell. Okay, where where can I put that? There we go, Miss Tammy Mitchell. So congratulations, Tammy. <laughs> oh, okay, Philomena, you're all set for In Color Club. Awesome, okay, good. I'm so excited to get that ordered for everybody. It's so much fun to, to do that too. It's like this is the best time of year to get everybody all that new, fun, in color stuff. So thank you very much, I appreciate that. And Tammy, I will get this paper mailed out to you along with the projects and your free embellishment as well for your order. So, okay, here I'm like all sidetracked. 
Okay, so this week we have, I think these are so cute. I haven't even opened them yet because I wanna, especially if I have to mail them, I don't want them to get um, rumpled or crushed or anything. So, okay, these are, can you see the little scallop edging along the top? So these are little note cards. And so they're not full size cards, they're note cards and then coordinating envelopes that also can you guys see that? Maybe if I bring it over there. There we go. The little scallop edge on the envelope and on the note card. And I'm gonna grab, this isn't very, it's almost like you can see it better um, in the picture online. They're called the scalloped note cards and envelopes. And it says they are dainty scalloped edges, dainty scalloped edges on cards and envelopes, 20 cards and 20 envelopes, um, five each of four colors. And the colors are balmy blue, old olive, they say light pink, so I don't know if that's, well, it's light pink, I guess. Kind of, it almost looks kind of like powder pink, really, but that's retired, and then terracotta tile. So I, I brought this over thinking this would be easier. I'll just show you because you can see all of the colors that are in there, okay? So those are the colors of um, the super cute little note cards and envelopes. So that's what we're gonna give away with an order, online order. Use the host code. Um, you can always find that on my blog at gatheringexpiration.com, but then your name goes in the drawing to win these super duper cute little scallop note cards and envelopes. And it's funny because I'm like, oh, these are the only ones I have. I really kind of want to play with these. So now I'm going to have to order more um, after I ship those out next week. So hey, Wendy, how are you doing? Um, all right, I think, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys was um, these little treats, and I'm going to demonstrate how I made them. You may already know because they're so super simple and easy, but I love, I love to show, let's see if I can get these in my hand so you guys can see them, show our new in colors. Hey, Susie, how are you? Okay, so these are little treat envelope kind of things that I made, and you don't even need the envelope punch board. You can make these just with a little six by six piece of designer series paper. So I'll show, I'll bring one up. My goodness. There we go, if I tilt it just right. So this is the terracotta tile and you've got that cute little, the terracotta tile ribbon right there. And then this one, I didn't bring them all home because I have these done at the studio. I just grabbed a couple of them. This one is the seaside spray with more, look at the pretty little scallop edge on the seaside spray ribbon. And then this one is the, um, pretty peacock. So again, that little scalloped edge ribbon. And this is the stamp says just a little something for you. And I did, I did bring this stamp set over. So that stamp is from, this is the delightful day. I'll show you guys this again when I, I'm going to flip the camera down in just a sec. But this is a cute little um, stamp set. Let, let me show you that when I flip it down. And then this is the story label punch. Do you guys remember? This is the one that we could order, I think, um, during celebration and it actually carried over into our current catalog. So, all right, let's do uh, one sec. Let me just make sure. I had this moment of, did I forget something? But I think we are good. Yeah, yep, yep, okay, all right. Um, turn your heads away for a sec, and then I will show you how to make these super duper cute. <laughs> You're in Alma fishing with the grandsons and watching Facebook Live. Of course you are, Susie. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, turn your heads away for a quick sec. We're going to flip the camera down, and I'm going to show you these cute little treats and the projects that we're going to demonstrate today. Okay. So, how are we looking? There we go. Okay. So these are my little Louise. Hello, how are you? Okay. Get. So here's the host code too, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, all you have to do is go to stampinup.com, put your order in, and before you check out, it's kind of in the bottom left corner after you're looking at your shopping cart, it'll ask if you have a host code. This is the host code you wanna use, and then you get entered into the drawing to win those scalloped note cards. Maybe you can see them a little bit better here. The scalloped note cards and envelopes. And then you're gonna get the projects I'm gonna demonstrate. And you bump your order up to $50 and you're gonna get your free embellishment. Um, which I believe, I think I said last time, where the in color faceted dots are free with um, at least a $50 order all month long. So 
Um, okay, let me show you. Can you guys see? So this, maybe you can see these a little bit better now. So I can't tell you, I just love, so I made like a whole slew of these and I have them in a cute little basket down at the studio and everybody come that comes to a class this month, I'm giving them one of these little treats. Plus then I can show them, you know, these are all of our new ink colors, at least those are some of them, right? So, okay, this is how simple and easy, and this is more of the paper too. So this is a seaside spray really pretty kind of pale bluey purpley i would say the little gingham or check on the other side okay so this is it ladies be prepared to be super wowed by the simplicity of this project okay so you've got this is how the paper comes in a piece of six by six designer series paper jen how are you you survived uh recital weekend i assume okay so do you see i'm just folding in half like in a triangle so i just took one one corner up to the other corner, and I'm gonna make sure they're lined up. And I kinda use my finger, and then I use my bone folder just to make that nice crisp. Okay, now you just wanna have this kinda straight up and down because that's gonna be your top point. And then you just take this point over to about the middle. And you know, honestly, if you need to readjust or reposition, you can do that. They don't always turn out exactly, um, you know, perfect every single time. Although this one's looking pretty good. So do you see that I'm just going to take this piece and flip it. And again, I'm going to use my bone folder and you don't even need adhesive. This is called the diaper fold too. If you can imagine that, right? When you have your baby and you fold the diaper in. So then this little flap just comes down like that. And that is it. So you don't even need the adhesive. Once you put your little um, tag, and I think the thing that really holds it in place, you see how it's kind of flipping up? Once you open that up and you put your little candy, I bought these little Giardelli chocolates because I think these are perfect, the perfect size. Another thing I like to put in here are those York peppermint patties. Anything obviously individually wrapped that's kind of flat um, works really nicely in here. So, but then that, do you see how once I put that in there, this flap is going to stay down very easily, right? So let me show you, this is the stamp set that we, that I used. It's called Delightful Day, and this is the sentiment right here. It says, just a little something for you. But the other sentiments are pretty awesome too. There's a congratulations. I can always use more of these. Hey Louise, don't be sorry that you're late. I'm happy to have you here whenever you can, can make it. And Denise, <laughs> yeah, I know, that's how you make those. So stinking simple, right? Six by six paper. I think, I feel like you, you know, you could make bigger ones. Um, obviously, it would be a really big, I'm sure I've done that before. If you had, you know, whatever size paper, just make sure it's square. But probably like an eight by eight or a 10 by 10, you just make bigger ones and then you can put even more stuff inside, right? So <laughs> you're welcome, Louise. I, I love having you guys join me. It's so fun to see all these um, names and faces pop up as we're doing this. So, okay, so other sentiments on here we've got, this is a cute one. It says, wishing you a delightful birthday. That's pretty sweet, huh? To and from, you can always use those little stamps, right? And then some cute little kind of floral and, and love, you know, the little water splotches, water splatter. Here, this one says, treats made with love. Ooh, I probably could have used that one too. Although I wanted it a little bit long. A lot of times it's more like the size <laughs> or you see how that one, that fits on my um, punch a little bit better, right? Then the other little baby ones say, to the happy couple. Uh, well, so congratulations to the happy couple. Congratulations on your new home or congratulations. Welcome, baby. You can't even see. There's my congratulations. So you can kind of pair those with any of those. So super cute little stamp set there, right? A great shower favor, yes, absolutely. Kind of put these out at each person's little place setting. Um, super duper cute. And then this was the punch that I used. So just Whisper White cardstock. I chose to use the same color ink as my paper. So my purple or um, pretty peacock on that one right there. Just stamp it on Whisper White and then punch it out with this cute little story label punch. I did put dimensionals. I think that I like to kind of pop it up a little bit. And then this ribbon, literally just take a little piece, tie it in a little knot and stick it on there with a glue dot. That is it. So they're so simple. And you can use whatever designer series paper you have or you like. I make these things all the time because they're really quick and easy. Um, it was funny, somebody was watching me at class the other day. I was kind of putting these together as people were there. Um, and she's like, wow, you do that so fast. So you just flip it up, 
one side the other side and flip it down and there you go so you can make a bunch of them quick simple but they're just so cute so I think that's my biggest thing that I'm learning as I do more and more paper crafting is things don't have to be really complicated to be really cute. And that's my <laughs> my MO these days. There's not enough time to do super complicated stuff. A, a lot of them anyway. It's still fun, right, to do some more complicated things, but I'm definitely keeping things simple these days. So hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. Okay. So you guys, are you ready to do the stamping? Let's scoot these things out of the way. I gotta get my grid paper. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. I think we have everything. Let me scoot my little bone folder out of the way. It's funny, I don't use that bone folder too much anymore, um, but I do love it for those projects right there. So, okay. Um, okay, yay! All right, let me show you guys the first card that we are going to make. And I have to show you this paper. This is the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. And I kind of covered it up. I don't think you can see how beautiful it is. But this is, did I say this already? It's like a Z fold. So maybe kind of from the top. Do you see it's kind of a Z fold there? Super simple and easy. And I loved kind of duplicating that look. At first I was just going to put a white piece in there and it just didn't look good enough. I didn't think I had to use, um, that's petal pink and whisper white. So isn't that cute? It says, friend, the best moments in my life happen with you. And it's got that beautiful daisy. So there's a full daisy punch and then a, a smaller medium daisy punch. I'll show you guys all of that. And then that cute little um, perennial essence flower center i think it is i think i think um so yeah let me show you first of all i want to show you the designer series paper because i love this paper and i've cut it up a little bit so just so you guys know too this is how i know i have questions on that sometimes like how do you store your paper so i just keep it right in the sleeve you know this plastic sleeve that it comes in and you guys all know this hopefully i'm going to say it just in case there's somebody new who doesn't know we've got the name of the paper so perennial essence designer series paper and then in very 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 small print it tells you all of the colors of cardstock and ink that coordinate that they used in this designer series paper. So that's a huge reference point. I had somebody ask me, you know, how do you know how what colors go with what? Hey, Amy Jo, and this is how I know. I refer to this like basically, so let me give you the example. When I went to make this card, I opened up my pack of paper, and I'll show you in just a sec. I flipped through and tried to decide what, you know, what, which one do I want to use, kind of keeping in mind that I was going to um, be stamping the little daisies too. So I was kind of trying to find something that mm, kind of coordinated well with that. And then once I picked that piece of designer series paper, then I flipped over and I came up with, um, as I flip or I kind of scroll through here, where are my colors? I used a petal pink and a mossy meadow and it's summer yeah mossy meadow and petal pink you guys are never going to be able to see those because they're so tiny but that's basically what i did okay so let me show you the designer series paper that's in here oh and that was the other thing i always keep like all my scraps so these are other small pieces that were left over from prepping this card because this is one that we're making down at the Simple Beautiful Card class this week also. So these are kind of leftover pieces. I always put those right in the front of the sleeve and then my full 12 by 12 pieces are always um, back in there a little bit further. So I'm gonna scoot that one down in there. So can you guys see, let's just pull it out. We'll do that because I think there's more impact. Like look at that, isn't that, it's just gorgeous paper, right? And then here is the back side. So they do, you know, just kind of a nice subtle wash there, but that's still super pretty great background. But look at that, isn't it? It's more like someone painted this, right? So I've got a couple sheets of that and let's flip this one over. Ooh, look at that. So more kind of a wash look too, right? This is, is doesn't look as good on screen as it does like live <laughs> here on my table. It's kind of a petal pink wash. This is quite a deep, I'm going to go maybe old olive mossy meadow is my thought on that one there. Then more beautiful. These are roses, right? <laughs> I think. <laughs> and look at, ooh, so these, this is actually a different print, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then here is another, I don't know if that's probably too much, but very similar colors and tones but this one you see more of the flowers this is more like 
you know, kind of a wash also. This this is probably one of my favorites. I love that, that paper. And then let's see the back side. Oh, here, flip it this way. So this one's pretty similar to the one that I used, They're just much smaller flowers there, right? And then one more. We've got this guy. Actually, I think there's the one that I used too, so I'll pull that one out, right? And then here's the back side. Ooh, that's very pretty too. Look at just gorgeous, right? So I only have a little bit left of the one that I did use. Yeah, this is the one that I used on. So can you, you can see it a little bit more. Um, I just love the wash kind of look though too, right? So you kind of see a little bit around there, but this is the actual full piece of designer series paper. And then there's the back side of that one. Look at that, isn't it? Oh. So ladies, I'm telling you what, you're gonna want a sample of all of this paper. So you might as well do that designer series paper share. It's awesome, I mean, you get so much. It's over $200 to get all of um, our designer series paper in the catalog. So you can get a quarter of it for a quarter of the price. It's just $50. And so is that ever gonna go back in there? Oh, I don't know. Here, we'll set this aside. I'm not going to worry about that right now. <laughs> you guys don't want to watch me struggle to put that back in there, I don't think. Okay, so let's make our card. So have I shown you? This is the Daisy Lane stamp set. Brand new stamp set that works with... Well, I'll show you actually here. So this is the Daisy Punch. This baby came out a couple of summers ago, was super, super popular. So you probably already have that one. If you don't, make sure you get the regular Daisy Punch. And then here, this is the medium. So can you see a little bit smaller punch and then it works. So here's the full Daisy right here. And then here's the medium Daisy that goes with that one right there. So we actually use both of those stamps. Also use that pretty fern. And then another pretty daisy with the sentiments are smile, friend, the best moments in my life happen with you. And then it's your time to shine. Great graduation sentiment right there too. Ooh, actually that's a sunflower, isn't it? Not a daisy. I'm seeing that like super tall. Yeah, ooh, sorry. I'm always looking at this thinking you guys can see, but I gotta make sure it's in the view. So awesome stamp set, beautiful imagery in that. Okay, so let's get our pieces out. I'm gonna tell you guys about dimensions and how I scored this. So we're gonna start with, this is a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock, eight and a half by 11, right? So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it in half at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then along, that makes a bad shadow, doesn't it? Then along the 11 inch side, we scored it in half at five and a half inches, and then also in a quarter at two and three quarters, okay? So when you, you're gonna fold that like you normally do with a card base, but then this one, you're gonna flip back like that. So that's the first step on your card. Then let me give you dimensions of other pieces. So these are the two inside these pieces right here. Those measure petal pink cardstock that is four by five and a quarter inches. And then the whisper white piece is graduated in a quarter of an inch, so this one measures three and three quarters by five inches, okay? Then, that's just a scrap piece to stamp on. Here is our designer series paper. You can see again how beautiful that is, right? This designer series paper, or DSP, if you ever see that, DSP, that means designer series paper, is four inches by two and a half inches, okay? That's that little piece that goes right on there, okay? Then our other layers, Mossy Meadow, three inches by four inches, and then these are all graduated in a quarter of an inch. So this one, petal pink, two and three quarters by three and three quarters, and then whisper white that is two and a half by three and a half. All of the measurements too are gonna to be on my blog, um, blog post once I get that uploaded later today, okay? So if you missed any of that, you don't wanna rewind and listen later, it's all gonna be right in print on gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, all of the item codes too for everything that we used, stamp set, designer series paper, punches, everything you need to know to put an order in. If you would like to do that is right on my blog also. So, okay, let's do our stamping here. Let me get my stamps, lots of stamps. Okay, so actually we're gonna use this little whisper white piece and I've got my Mossy Meadow ink. Oh, Marianne, <laughs> how are you? I'm glad you can join us. So good to have you here with us. Okay, so this is my friend stamp, 
nice easy you guys see how I'm not pressing too hard because I don't need to get ink I even actually got a little bit of ink there hopefully we're just gonna wipe that off I don't know if that was gonna be a problem or not but we're gonna help ensure that it's not a problem okay there's my friend stamp and then I want <laughs> I'm trying to like lick the ink off my fingers because I'm afraid I'm gonna rub it <laughs> on on my uh, project on my white paper and I don't want to do that okay so then we're gonna use our fern stamp and maybe right about to there we're gonna add our fern isn't that so pretty so you guys have to take a look beautiful oh physical therapy oh well, hopefully everything's okay Marianne and summer in general huh yeah is it humid maybe that I know that's tough on people so okay check out that um, that fern isn't that pretty I like that there's something just about the real simple detail of that actually the other thing we're gonna do we're gonna stamp our the rest of our sentiment in the center of this whisper white piece that's gonna go on the inside of our card okay so nice easy tap 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 we're gonna press straight down and lift straight up okay good there that worked I was gonna say if it doesn't work flip it over and use the other side because you cannot see the ink through it once you um, put your card together okay so now here we go we've got a this is just a strip of whisper white cardstock and we are gonna nope we can't punch yet never <laughs> don't ever do that don't ever punch this and then try to stamp that on that little punch oh my gosh I have seen people try to do that at class before I've caught that oh my gosh that's what they're doing Petal pink ink, you wanna stamp first. The one thing I will tell you is, can you see how that's kind of straight up and down? Make sure you stamp it straight up and down. If you kind of do it at an angle, then you're gonna to have to work hard to get your punch in there the right way. And I actually, I tried only one big and one little daisy and I didn't like it. So we need two big daisies and then we need one little or medium daisy again point it straight up and down and I am kind of pushing but I'm not wiggling or rocking because just in case I got ink around those edges this one it wouldn't matter because you're going to punch it out but just know that just press straight down and lift straight up and that's it <laughs> it is a beautiful fern isn't it and thank you Philomena the font is really pretty isn't it yes always that cursive it makes me want to I write so poorly these days I think <laughs> I don't know if it's my hand or my brain, but there's some kind of an issue with being able to write nicely anymore. Okay, so see how that one lined right up, right? But yeah, those pretty fonts make me want to write nicely again too. Okay, and then, so here we go. You just have to move it around a little bit till you get it set up where you want it. I'm going to punch that one. And then one more daisy punch. Okay, there we go. So we've got those. Oops, sorry, that was awfully loud, wasn't it? All right, so now I think we can, let's get our adhesive. I think I'm gonna need some dimensionals. I think we can put stuff together now. Okay, so I'm gonna add, and I'll show you guys. So this is what I started with, and I'll put it on here so you can see it. It didn't do enough for me, and maybe it will for you, and that would be okay. But there was something about that that I, it was okay. But I decided I needed one more daisy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive there. And then you see I'm kind of offsetting everything. So this just did it for me. The two, like that, right? And then I did kind of, I curled everything up too. I wanted to have a little bit of dimension. Now you know, obviously when you put it inside an envelope, it's gonna get flattened down, but you could put a little note in there telling them to like spread the, spruce those up when they open up your card, right? Okay, let's see, where are we at? Let's do, we can just put everything together now, right? Okay, so we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of our petal pink cardstock. Layer that right on our mossy meadow. Grab our friend sentiment, add our adhesive there. Okay, this one's gonna go here right then let's put these pieces together actually we'll put adhesive on this one okay we're going to add again our whisper white on our petal pink and then we can put all of these on our card 
Okay, so we're gonna add this one to the inside of our Z fold. I think that's what you call it. It looks like a Z to me, so that's why I'm calling it a Z fold. I'm pretty sure that's probably like the, you know, the real name of it, right? Okay, so those go on the inside. Then we've got our most beautiful, look at that, ooh, ooh, ooh. designer series paper. We're gonna put some adhesive on, I like to get the corners. If I don't get too close to the edge, I have to go back and add a little bit more. Um, let's see, this one is gonna go right about there, right? And then just be careful. You don't wanna put adhesive on the back underneath here because you don't want it sticking to the inside. So you only want adhesive on the back of this side of things. So I'm gonna try to make sure but you do want a good amount of adhesive because this piece needs to stay on there well, right? So then we're just gonna kind of line this up and I'm just trying to kind of make sure it looks pretty even, top, bottom, side to side. I'm gonna press really firmly. And then I actually didn't put, I didn't use dimensionals. Now that I think about that, I brought those over here because I didn't want it to pop up too much. So we're gonna put, our daisy right there because you guys have you seen these are so cool they look so real these are can you if you can see that i don't know the perennial essence floral centers and i'll give you the item code for these but you get 18 of these little babies in here and they they look they look so real it's, it's like there's almost a green something behind them. I don't know, maybe you can see them a little bit better in there as I'm flitting around with them. They're just, I don't know, there's something about them that looks so real, so authentic. And then there's a little, just to be careful, because there's quite um, an adhesive, like kind of, it's not a, it, it does stick up almost like it's dimensional, but you don't want to peel the whole white thing off. There's just a little teeny tiny backing on there. That's all you want to pull off. And then you put that, oh my gosh, I love these things. It just makes it, it makes it look so real. Now I will tell you it is thick enough that you would wanna put um, either a little piece of bubble wrap or another piece of um, cardstock that you've embossed just to kind of absorb that. If you're gonna mail it, I would add extra postage too, just to be safe. But look at that, the moment, the best moments in life, in my life happen with you, friend. How cool, right? Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I think I, and honestly, you could use all of the colors of designer series paper and make a whole bunch, you could make a whole set of cards um, and give them as a gift. I think that'd be really fun to do with all the different um, patterns of designer series paper, right? Okay, so that is one of our cards. Let me scoot this one. All right, hold on one sec. Let me get these things out of the way here because I can't forget anything. I gotta bring these back down to class. <laughs> that would not be good. Okay, and, oh, I have to show you guys. Actually, there were a couple of other swap cards that I received that also used that the Daisy Punch. Thank you, guys. Oh, Rosa, hey, I didn't realize you were on here. Thank you. Yeah, this looks a little bit familiar, right, since you made it the other night. So she did a very similar. She I, Maybe she doesn't have the other punch yet, or anyway, she didn't use it. But, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. So we used the same designer series paper, that same pattern of floral essence, and then she did two of the daisies, which these are the really awesome. I've used these a number of times already. You guys have seen those, the stitched nested labels i think they're called and then that beautiful ribbon that we used last week i love that's like the perfect she made the perfect bow there too smile it's your time to shine oh that's so cute too right love that sentiment and this one was from lynn feldkamp and she is in minnesota it looks like um and then the other swap that used so everybody's using these flower centers right oops that's upside down we're gonna go that way and this is fun too i love how she made a window so the so this says the, the window is out of, oh, and this is the garden. I'm drawing a blank. One of the garden designer series papers. I can't remember the name of it right now. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I keep thinking it's going to come to me. But so she die cut one of the um, stitched rectangles, and then it actually looks like there's a green one. I don't know if you can see that back in there, right? And then also the white one that she stamped the Always Thinking of You on with more of the daisy, and then we gotta use, look at, aren't those, isn't that so pretty, the centers? They just make the card and the project, I think. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed those. All right, so I have one more to share with you guys, and this is actually 
from our product of the week this week. Uh, let me get it out here. <laughs> I loved this. Garden Lane. Yes, thank you, Denise. That's the name of it. Yeah, I knew it was Garden something. I just couldn't think of it. Thank you. Thank you, Philomena. You guys, I love that you guys are helping me out too. Thank you. This one I do know because this is the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper from the an from our annual catalog that is the product of the week that we've been featuring all week long on our Facebook group. And I love this paper. It is so cute. I think it's just kind of like the fun, bright, cheerful colors um, that really make that paper too. So, okay, let me show you guys this paper as well. Um, so this is the one here. Let's see if I can pull. This is the one we used on our card, right? I don't have maybe too much of it because um, I used a bunch of it. And that's what I'm talking about, is using big pieces of designer series paper on our cards. I used to only use little pieces, but now I'm going for it. We're using big pieces. I can really show you, um, like showcase the paper itself. So cute little scissors on the back of that one there, right? And then I'm gonna pull out the rest of these here. Let's get that sleeve out of the way. Okay, so these are kind of fun. These are all like paint brushes and rollers and spatulas. <laughs> Susie, your favorite. I know, I remember. And then here's the back side. Isn't that pretty too? Just kind of a fun, it's almost like painting swooshes. And then we've got some pens and pencils and things there. And then these are really cute too, like some stars and hearts. And you see how they're kind of keeping it um, monochromatic on one side and then more like bright and crazy, especially that one, right? They're, <laughs> aren't these cute? They're binder clips and paper clips. <laughs> so cute. And then the last one right here, isn't this awesome? Oh my gosh, I love, there's something about that, um, that print there, right? Isn't that so pretty? And then the back side, this is very like geometric looking, right? So lots of just fun, bright colors in here too. Okay, so this is the card. Actually, let me show you, because here's another one. Um, this was a swap that I received from Carrie Todd, it says. Yes, fun DSP. You're right, Philomena. And she used that embossing folder there, too. We used that one as well on our card. And then it looks like I don't have these dies yet, but look at how cute. The little button with the little holes. Got a couple of little buttons. And then um, another, a bigger button, too. So, so cute. Let's stay up late and craft. <laughs> don't you all think we, we have a friend we could send that card to with that sentiment? So very, very cute. Okay. Now I actually, because I don't have the stamp set yet that goes with, that coordinates with this designer series paper, it's something about art. It's not follow your art, but whatever the name of that stamp set is, I first thought of my Crafting Forever stamp set. This is one that came out a couple of years ago. Very similar idea with those cute little scissors. And then we use this sentiment, crafting forever, housework whenever. <laughs> oh no, Marianne, you can't seem to get back to the video. Well, it's here, so come, yeah, I wonder. It does look like maybe a few people, it didn't say anything about a bad connection, so I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep going, and hopefully you can catch back up. Um, but cute other, Melissa, hello, how are you? I haven't seen you in so long, hopefully you're good. Um, look at this cute little one that says made with love and then we are cut out to be friends and then those fun pens there too and the baker's twine and then this is a fun sentiment also do something creative every day oh that is so crazy I wonder sorry guys I don't know what happened it didn't say anything or maybe I was just so busy I didn't realize I don't think it said anything about it being a problem okay but I'm glad you're back now thanks for hanging with me guys Okay, so this one starts with my favorite Coastal Cabana cardstock, eight and a half by 11. So as usual, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half. Okay, hmm. All right, hopefully you guys are all hopping back on to finish up with me. Um, okay, what else? We have, this is that super cute, look at all the like bolts, the ribbon and the thread and the buttons, so cute. And then the scissors on the back. So this piece measures um, three and three quarter by five inches. And then the only other measurement one that you need is the Pacific Point strip that measures one and a half by four and a quarter, okay? And, you know what? 
I forgot to grab, oh boy. Okay, um, you know what? So a couple of these things are actually, I thought I grabbed everything from down at the studio. We will do what we can. Um, darn, 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 I forgot the embossing folder. Oh, that is a, such a bummer. So the button, button embossing folder, this piece right here, oh, I'm so bummed because it's so cute. Look at that. Okay, so imagine if I embossed this piece and it came out looking like that. Okay, we're gonna actually maybe not fully make this card because, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so yeah, all right. So we would emboss this piece with our new button, button embossing folder, okay? Then I actually, because I didn't bring these either. God darn it. Okay, sorry guys. Um, these are, we can do this though. This is a scrap of Coastal Cabana. Sandra, hello, how are you? And then this is some of the new Perennial Essence Vellum paper. So there's this kind of a pale pink, I think it's Blushing Bride. Um, then there's also, I think a So Saffron, and then maybe a blue, I'm trying to remember. There are three colors of vellum, but so, so pretty. So it's just kind of got that, you know, um, uh, frosty look to the paper. Um, okay, it's working fine now, good. Okay, I'm glad everybody's able to get back on and now I can't even show you how to make this card. But okay, anyway, so I used, this is one of the hearts, well, both of these hearts are from the Stitched Heart Framelits and I will give you the Stitched Be Mine Framelits. I'll give you the item code. So we cut one of these small hearts right there and then the large heart right there. We embossed this piece right here and then I'll stamp just because I do have my white I did remember that didn't I oh my gosh well good lord you guys I really thought I was um <laughs> I'm like so thrown I thought I had okay we're not making this card at all because I forgot this piece you know what I did grab <laughs> I grabbed this framelit <laughs> oh my gosh okay so we use this white um stitched shape for, or not white this um, circle stitched shape framelit. We stamped with our Coastal Cabana, you guys can get the idea, right? Stamped our Coastal Cabana ink using our Crafting Forever Housework Whenever stamp. We stamped it on a non-existent piece of Whisper White cardstock. We cut it out <laughs> with our stitched shape framelit, our circle, right? And then I did pop, so this heart right here is popped up on Dimensionals and then actually the crafting forever, this one is too, okay? So you're gonna adhere that piece, emboss that and adhere it, die cut these two, pop that one up on dimensionals, just adhere that one, the vellum one, and then stamp this and die cut and pop it up on dimensionals. Then I used a couple of those glitter enamel dots, and then this is the Baker's Twine. I can show you how to do that, ladies, here. So <laughs> this is like the epic fail moment. Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we have, this is my Whisper White uh, Baker's Twine, and I'm going to kind of loop it together as if, oops, two strands are one strand is the easiest way to think about that, okay? Instead of tying two bows and putting them together, you do two kind of strips, I guess I would say, and then we're going to make our bow. So make our loop. Pop that through there, and then you just make it the size that you need it to be. There, and then we grab our scissors, and we kind of cut those off. So there, you guys, now you know how to make a bow, a double, a double baker's twine bow, <laughs> if you didn't know before. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm over it. This is how it goes today. Um, so yeah. What do you guys think? Did you love this card? <laughs> oh my gosh, unbelievable. So, okay, sorry guys, I, I'll make this, oh my goodness, oh, I don't even know what to say. All right, well, I'm gonna be making the card down at class in just a little bit, I'm sure. So thank you guys for <laughs> hanging out with me today. Um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this project and this project, right? So. Just to do the quick recap, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, right? You, if you put at least a $30 
order in online by next Wednesday at midnight. You are going to get both of these projects. I promise it'll be completed. It'll be completed. Um, you'll get both of these projects and your name is going to go in the drawing to win the scalloped note cards and envelopes. You can kind of see there. Actually, maybe I didn't do that before. So there's the balmy blue, kind of a powder pink. Um, what did they say those were? Old olive and terracotta tile are the other ones. Super pretty, right? So you could win that with your order. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you always get the free embellishment too, which this month are those in color faceted dots. Just make sure to use that host code so that I know that's what you wanna do. Okay, so thank you guys so much. And I can't tell you, I, I do so appreciate your online orders. Those are what allow me to keep doing the Facebook Live. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. And thank you for your participation too. I love having you guys on here, hearing from you um, and that you're enjoying things too. So Philomena, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed and I apologize, but I think you guys get the idea on how to make this card, right? I'll have all the item codes and everything that I used for both of these at gatheringinspiration.com later on today. Okay, thank you guys. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Bye everybody. I hope you were inspired today. Bye.